the night when the full moon is bright comes a horseman known as Zorro. His bold renegade carves a Z with his blade. A Z that stands for Zorro. Johnny, you guys! And today we're talking about the Radio Master Zorro. And we have both flavors. Of course, Radio Master sent me a couple of these because I'm basically like the FPV Antonio Bandera. But there's actually a variety of packages you can get with this new gamer style FPV transmitter release. The controller or transmitter or radio flying a drone for the first time, you're probably used to handling something like this, which is exactly the size and shape of this radio. When they see the hobby grade radios that we carry, people are a little bit shocked and it gives you a backache from carrying this gigantic thing. Well, now you can have all of the power updated features in one of these. So I have the Express LRS version right here and the 4-in-1 module version right here. One of the few sacrifices that you had to make to be able to get all of the functionality in there is you have to choose one or the other, but fear not, there is an expandable module bay back here so you can add whatever functionality that you don't have. So you pick whichever one that you're going to use the most. If you mostly use FR Sky or other Whoop toy stuff, you may want to get the multi protocol 4 in 1 module version. Then you can use the Radio Master R81 D8 receiver right here, or you can get the Express LRS version and use Radio Master's new suite of Express LRS receivers. They have an EP1, which is one with the little T antenna, or you can get the ceramic antenna. EP2. It does use these non standard tiny 18350 size batteries. Once you have them in there, you can charge this up via the USB C at the bottom. Trims right here get some leather grippies to swap out on the corners. Right, These are actual switches, but they're very low profile. You can see how much shorter they are than this beta FPV. It gives you the same tactile feel of a regular switch without the extra link that could get caught on something. In addition to that, it also has a bunch of these other little buttons on the back. And on the shoulders right here, these little momentary switches, this actually has a little balance connector. You can plug in 2S voltage, plug that directly in, or it comes with a little extension that has balance and a little XT30, a little mounting bracket to actually hold a small LiPo. You can just plug in a multi-protocol module to the back whenever you need it, or a crossfire module, or a ghost module, or whatever module out here that you want. This comes shipped with Edge TX. Welcome to Edge TX. The latest in open source uh, radio protocol. It's the best feeling radio of any of these that I've ever felt. For a long time, Jumper and everyone else has been releasing little radios like this, but none of them have felt great. They've had smaller gimbals. My favorite has always been the Tango 2, but I could never get the gimbals on that thing to calibrate properly. And I always had a little bit of jitter. And then over time, I just wasn't using Crossfire as much anymore, using mostly Express LRS. Well, this is perfect. This one actually feels better in the hand. The grips have a little bit extra thickness and a little bit nicer of a soft plastic back here and it just fits. It has momentary switches on here. It has real hobby switches up here. It has hall sensor gimbals right here. It has fully adjustable gimbal tension and even gimbal stick throw all without ever having to open up this thing to access it. And it has a variety of little button switches. What is that for? It's for Velocidrone combat or any other application where you might need a little button. It also has the antenna built into the body itself. You just flip it out and then you have your antenna up in the air for when you need it. And flip it back down and it's totally out of the way. This is what I've been waiting for in this size. Something that is as good or better as the Tango 2 that had USB chargeable, USB-C simulator. It's also very nice that this thing actually has M3 sticks. Some of the smaller FR Sky ones have M2.5 and so you can't fit all the popular stick in options. So these 533 stick ins on my Jumper T18 Pro can swap right over to this. The ones that it come with are very serviceable, slightly thinner than like your standard ones that they come with. So if you're a pincher, you may like that. I personally am very used to a stick in like this. 
Here it is next to the Tyrannus X9D. Here it is next to the Jumper T18 Pro, which is the same size as the Radio Master TX16S Beta FPV V2. The V3 is slightly bigger, so they're gonna be very close in size. You can see this one's a little bit thicker, but next to an Xbox One controller, next to a PlayStation controller. This is an under $100 radio that has a ton of features. And what I really, really like over a lot of these other budget radios is so we're all very familiar with this is your system button, this is your model button, this is your return page buttons right here and your scroll wheel which are exactly the same setup as here so when you're navigating the menus it's so familiar to you and very easy to go in there this comes pre-installed with all of the relevant lua scripts on here so if you were to get a crossfire module you already have crossfire lua on here if you were to use express lrs it's already on here let's go over the adjustments these adjustments on the front are for increasing the gimbal stick throw. If you turn it clockwise, you can increase it all the way up to 54 degrees stick travel and go all the way as small as 38 degrees depending on how wide you want your stick throw to be. Back on the back, you have two sets of adjustments here and here. The left one is going to be for adjusting stick tension. And the right one is for switching between mode one or... What do you think of this radio? Man, it looks pretty nice. That would be very comfortable for me to hold because I'm climbing. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure about pinching. Probably pinching too, but I like it. <laughs> I like yeah. the screen. It's kind of sort of protecting the switches. Yeah. Like you put in the back. So the switches, switches are very small, hidden. but they're yeah. still real switches. There are buttons. Oh, no. Neil That's... said there are buttons to play combat in Velocity Drum. Yeah, there's little buttons what? on the shoulders. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's dope. And there's uh, there's ones underneath too. So you can have like four different. And even the screen weapons. is not colorful. It means that the battery will last long, long time, right? Yeah. Well, it's tiny little batteries. Yeah, it's a tiny yeah. cool. It's like USB C? It. Yep. Bottom if we weren't charging. a USB C, call it like, nah, I'm out yeah, of my spot. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Ooh, fancy. Fine. Express and the rest, 2.4, right? Yeah. Two. Some mm. people bitching though, because it doesn't do one watt. <laughs> but like, I mean, come on. You're not going to do one watt unless you're on crossfire. Like, yeah, if you need one watt, I feel like you need like 900 hertz. Yeah. Nice and, and clicky. Right? It's cool. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Oh, it that feels pretty good. It's not too heavy, not too light. Yeah. Supposedly oh. they're going to make some leather grips too. But does it too? have themes though? Well, the rubber feels good there. <laughs> yeah, I like the rubber. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. But Radio yeah, Master's like, all about that leather. No theme. Like yeah, I could. I wouldn't be able to small screen. Yeah, not just that, but the way uh, I hold the, way you the radio. Hold it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hold my radio with like my fingers wrapped uh, around the corners. Okay, so, you're, so if you're a hardcore pincher, yeah, maybe yeah. not. Yeah, the don't feel bad. It's definitely not as nice, but like a fourth of the price. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. <laughs> For a fourth of the price, you're definitely getting. I can't believe it, guys. Every time I switch radios, which I try not to do very often, but every time I do, I know I'm a creature of muscle memory. Being able to know exactly how much movement I need my thumbs to move in order to perform that maneuver is ingrained into my very being. So every time I switch my stick throw, my stick feel, my hand holding position, it takes me 30 to 40 to 50 packs to adjust. I know that on the race course, I'm gonna be slower during that transition period until I can get the packs needed. So how is it possible I've already beat my best simulator time on this new radio without even having the muscle memory? The stick tension on this thing is the best that I've ever felt. It's so smooth. I have the super, supposedly super nice RC Alps 90 gimbals on this thing. It's supposedly the same gimbals that are on expensive $800,000 Futaba radios. In about five or six tries, I have set my new personal record on Grower's Tower, which was, if you saw the Velocidrone episode the other day, the track of the week, this was a perfect benchmark for me because I had been flying that on my normal radio of how I could adjust. And I actually was crashing a little bit because there's certain parts of the track where I needed to do a quick flick that's where the muscle memory comes in because your finger knows exactly how far to push. There's other parts of the track that are fast but slow gradual turns. That's where I was faster on this radio. So if I was able to beat my time with unfamiliar sticks on this thing, I think this could be the key for me getting just a little bit faster. 
This is gonna be very tempting over the coming weeks. I have a really, really big race coming up in less than two weeks all the way in Costa Rica. So I can't afford to switch right now. I just can't afford to mess up my muscle memory for that once in a lifetime racing opportunity. But as soon as I get back, I mean, how nice would it be to be able to travel with a radio this size instead of a radio this size? Can you see the difference? Do you know how much room this takes up in a suitcase? Do you know how much extra batteries I need to carry for this thing? Whereas this thing can just charge with a USB battery bank? Uh, see, now it's super tempting because I'm gonna wanna fly this all the time now. I cannot let myself as much as I want to because I can't disturb my muscle memory for that race but my goodness it feels so good and i already like now what's going to be in my brain is like which one would i be faster on i know the answer is don't change anything three to four weeks before a big race i already know this but i'm but this is just tempting me so bad if you're not in that same amount of pressure situation if you don't have giant size hands this is absolutely perfect now some of these little tiny radios like the beta fpv was a little bit too small some of the little jumper t light was a little bit too small the zoro feels just right zoro